Hi, it's Lenneke from Lens Crafty Life, and I'm happy to tell you that my Etsy payments are working again. So I want to be more active with my Etsy shop, and I've uploaded these beautiful, very grungy coffee light papers. Now, these are the actual prints, uh, printouts that you will get. So it's my own hand dyed coffee paper, and I've scanned them into my computer, and this is what you get when you print them out. So they are very grungy because I scrunched up the uh, original paper before I dyed them. So these are printed out, as you can see. So that is one. They're very grungy. Beautiful patterns. I really love this kind of thing. So these would look great in any kind of uh, journal, as journal pages. And of course, it has the grungy look and the scrunched up look. But they're totally smooth. You can write on it because they're printouts. Yay! <laughs> That's the good thing from printouts. So some um, may look a little bit similar because um, I've actually taken the front and the back. Let me see if I can show you that. So, yeah, I think this is the front and the back. So... This would be the front, so the front would be a little bit stronger in the colors and the uh, um, the pattern that you get. And then this would be the back, so it's flipped, but it's, it's like a mirror image, but it's different. It's the same paper, but it's not a mirror image, it's the back side, you know. So you can probably see if I put them next to each other here. Oh, that's kind of cool as well, isn't it? Well, I don't know if you can actually see it, but this is a bit has a bit of a darker and stronger coloring. And this is then the back, like here you can see it especially. So that's on the front, this is on the back. So this coloring didn't come through there. So, and again here, it's kind of darker here, it's lighter. So it's not the same, it's just uh, the flip side of the same paper. So some are stronger in their colors. And some are a bit more muted. This one is very crunchy. Look at that. Yee, so cool. I really like this. I think I'll, uh, I'll start using these myself soon. Now, I've printed these on 120 grams of paper. Um, oh, I'm just looking, see if I can have that in pounds. I do have a printout somewhere that says what the difference is. But... I'm not sure. It's a bit heavier than just your ordinary copy paper. So it makes it perfect for journal papers. And I find it easier. And when you use a little bit of a heavier paper, I find it easier to put on um, paperclip items and not ruin the pages or tear the pages, especially if they are coffee dyed and become a bit more brittle. So these are very sturdy and you can, of course, you know, you can make kind of like envelopes out of these. Um, use them also as backgrounds or on the backs of tags and other ephemera because you can still, even though they're so grungy, you can very much write on it. Now, these are the lighter ones that are in there. There are still the crinkles you see, but there is a little bit less of the dark coffee dyed colors so these are um, a light brown so there you go so that's all 18 that you get in my etsy shop they're not very expensive i think i'm a bit cheaper than others um depending on who you're looking at of course so i hope you will check out my etsy shop i've got some beautiful vintage french magazines in there as well let me show you some just a sec Just like this, La Broderie Illustrée. And I've got quite a few others as well. So if you're into that kind of thing, just check it out. And I've got some digital old French postcards, which of course I don't have on end right now. Maybe I'll, I'll show that in another video. But I thought I'd uh, just show you this, oh, especially like this one. Is it gorgeous? Okay, so there you go. And um, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye bye.